Hi YouTube, welcome back. Uh, I ran this plow out yesterday. It did way, way better than it ever has before. Um, as you saw in the last video, as I would tilt it up with the winch, I wasn't super happy with how high it went. Um, and that's right here on this face. Um, it's limited in this hinge point, and that's just because this surface contacts this lower surface. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and cut this lower corner off and put a plate on there, just do a bevel. Um, I'll cut an inch up on this side and a half inch in on the bottom side, and then I'll put a new plate in there. That should give me about half an inch to three quarters of an inch more movement here at the hinge point, which probably will equal maybe, I, I could do the math, but probably somewhere around six inches out here at the plow, which is plenty for me. I really only needed to go about four inches higher than it was. Um, other than that, it did phenomenally. I plowed about six and a half miles yesterday in anywhere between four inches to a foot of snow, and it did so much better. Um, so anyways, I'll uh, keep you in. You can see how this gets measured out, marked out, and cut, and uh, we'll weld it back together. And I'll probably being that I, I built this plow before I was doing videos, I've got some pictures, not many, but I'll, I'll post those pictures in this video just so you can see the process of it being built. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for following. Please subscribe. Share with your friends so they subscribe. But let's see how this gets done. Okay, so on this side, I'm gonna mark a half inch up to cut out. And then on this side, I'll be at <clears throat> one inch in across here. That might be closer to three quarters. I don't know how well you can see this, but I'm going to cut this line to this line and cut this corner out and then put a flat plate in there. That'll allow the new piece to hinge up to about right here. If you can see that. So, keep watching. We'll skinny wheel it. It'll be super cool. Okay, I decided I'm just gonna fill that in with weld. It's lazy, I know, but it'll be good enough for me. And probably it'll work for you too. Super proud moment. None of you warned me that I was doing this, but I actually just cut that on the wrong side. This is the side that's supposed to be beveled. Thanks for not helping me out there. So I'm gonna get this one cut and weld onto there now. And it'll look really cool. So that seems like it's on purpose for looks.
Okay, so there's my practice run. Here's the real deal. I don't know if it turned out any better, but now it looks wicked cool. And that's all that matters is the coolness factor. So let's go put it on, see what it uh, hinges to. Maybe I did that 20 times. Uh, unnecessarily, I might add. Anywho, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, it's gonna get a coat of paint and then hopefully it works all season. If not, I'm sure there'll be another video that you can see about it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed seeing me cut that bevel twice because that was necessary. But uh, anywho, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you appreciated it. If not, uh, share away. Let people see what you don't like. If you loved it, share it so people know what you like. Either way, if you share it, it helps me out. Anyways, so I appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching. And have a great day. Mm -hmm.